Now, this lab has a username that is vulnerable through enumeration and a password that is vulnerable through brute force attack. And what we're going to do is it has a candidate username and password, which is this and this. And I will show you a feature of Burp Suite called Intruder. So let's start. So this is the laboratory. Let's click my account. Now let's make sure that we have our proxy on and let's try to log in. Please subscribe. And let's go to our burp suite and let's capture this one, the login. Okay, so this is the login call, which is a post command. What we're going to do is let's right click and send it to intruder. Once it turns orange, what we can do is we can parameterize this username by clicking add and let's go to payloads now here on payload make sure we have simple list selected let's go to the list of passable username and we just simply paste it and we click start attack okay now that it has finished let's see what a usual successful request um, looks like and as you can see this one always says invalid username so what we can do is let's see if there is something that is different and the username a n says something different and let's take a look at that and it says incorrect password so this is a valid username so let's have this a n and let's go back to our payload or the positions so let's discard this let's go back to our position and remove this as a parameter clear and let's put a n and now on please subscribe, let's parameterize this. Go to payloads. Let's clear this payload. And let's put on the word list for our password. And click paste. And we can start the attack again. Okay, now that it has finished, we should expect a different status code. And this one is 302, which means on the response, we are successfully redirected to my I, to the my account page. So the password is let me in. So it's a n let me in. Let's go back here on our login page let's go a n let me in click log in and we have logged in successfully and solve the laboratory 